Hi hey guys, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. That's great. Welcome to another English class. How was your weekend? Fine. Yes? Yeah, it was good. That's great. What did you do on the weekend? Well, to be honest, I didn't do anything special. I guess the normal, the usual. Yes? Did you have? A, did you spend time with your family? No, I didn't actually. So what do you do? What do you normally do? Uh, I usually stay all day at home and sleep all day and sometimes I watch series and movies. That's right, you rest. And what about you at home? Oh, I was watching movies with my family. Okay, very good, perfect. We watch uh, The Prodigy. Prodigy. Oh, okay, it's a movie. What's a good movie to share? Okay, that's, that's good. I need to watch it. I, I need to watch it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Um, I guess that you had time for watching the video of your homework. Did you watch the video? Yes. yes. Do you yes. remember what the topic is? Is yes. what is the topic? Simple present. Simple present. Well, we are going to make a review about simple present. Remember last time we were talking about that topic, and today we are going to improve it. That's okay. Well. Does anyone remember what simple present is? When do we use it? It's for example, okay, for example, when we talk about habits, facts, and routines. That's good. Habits, facts, and routines. What example of a habit? I have breakfast in the morning. I have breakfast yeah. in the morning. Is yeah, it? Because you cannot have breakfast in the afternoon. Yes. <laughs> One habit, one habit. Um, go to the gym. Yes, that's a good example. I go to the gym. Take a shower. Every morning, I... Take a shower. Yes, it's something like take a shower. Yes. And it, and oh, I, yeah, I, I don't want to talk this shit. Uh, it's for example, go to school. Go to school? Yes. Yes. Well, and a fact. Can you, can, can you tell me please an example of a fact? She's a teacher. Yeah, she's a teacher. We are a student. We are a student. Yeah, you are a student. I'm a teacher. That's good. Okay, very good. So, simple present is when we talk about habits, facts, and routines. Okay, very good. Um, do you remember how many groups do we have in how many groups we have in simple present? Well. I guess it's divided in two, in two groups. Okay. What are those two groups? The famous verb to be and the yes. other Yes. Very be. good. The first one is verb to be. And the other one is? Other verbs. Other verbs. Very good. Very good. Okay, perfect. Um, Charlotte, do you remember how many conjugations that verb to be have? Three conjugations, very good. What are those conjugations? Um, are. Yes, are. Is. Is. Okay, very good. And Marini, do you remember uh, these conjugations? What with which uh, personal pronouns? Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, this personal pronoun of am um, is I. Yes, the personal pronoun for. The conjugation am um, is I, very good. For R, R is they, they, you, you, we, and we, very good. And for is um, he, he, she, she, and it. Yeah, third person, very good, perfect. And well, so today you are going to learn that verb to be has different structures for positive, interrogative, and negative sentences. Then other words have. Other words have some structures and verb to be has other structures. They work differently. Well, so we are going to talk about, we are going to do some examples, okay? Can you guys give me one example of verb to be? Okay, I have a picture. Okay, write it down, please. Write it down on the blackboard. Okay, here. Do I need to make the structure? No, it's not necessary. We are going to do it. I am contraction or without contraction? As you want. Okay, I am. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Okay, guys. So I in the structure. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Sit down, please. So in the structure, in this this part, I the person I pronounce that is going to be the noun. Yes, the subject. So this one is going to be the person I pronounce. And what is this? Bear, bear to be. Bear to, to be. be. Yes. So this is bear to be, and this is the complement. Complement. Okay. Do you guys remember what's the structure for negative sentences? Well, I'm not sure, but I guess it's personal pronouns. Yes. Plus verb. Plus verb to be. And negative. Negative. Not and plus complement. Complement. Very good, John. Very good. So this sentence can can anyone make it negative? Well, I can. I volunteer, please. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Thank you very much. John. Great. Um, if, if I'm not wrong, it's something like yes, and it's a stranger because I'm not talking nervous. <laughs> okay, is it good? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Congratulations. Thank John. you so much. Okay, my pleasure. Well, um. Do you guys remember what are the structure? What what the structure is for interrogative sentences? Yes. What is that? Verb to be. Yes. We start with verb to be. Pronoun. Pronoun. Very good. Complement. Complement. Question mark. Very good, guys. You good. You good. You good. Okay. So I am not happy. So this sentence would be. In interrogative sentences would be. Are you happy? Yeah. Am I happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, am I happy? Oh, if you want to direct that uh, sentence to another question, that that question to another person, it would be like, Are you happy? Yes. yes. Are you happy? Well, this you know the other words work in a different way. They don't follow the same structure. Do you remember one example? Or oh, can you give me one example? Of a sentence with other verb, with another verb. Um, Tell me one verb, guys. You play. Play, for yeah, example, yeah, another verb. Yeah, another yeah, verb. Yeah. What do you What do you do every day? Do routine. You walk. Because it's a routine, so you walk. walk what else? Yes. Sorry. Uh, no. Walk and play. Play. And talk with people. Talk to people. Yes. Yeah, very good. Study. Uh, study. You study. Uh, you study English. Do you study English? Yes. Yes. yes I, 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 I hope so. Yes. Well. So, can you give me one example of um, an example with another verb? In, in third person, maybe. Oh, uh, it can be with third person with the personal pronoun you want. Um, I play in the park. I. I play in the park. I play in the park. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, uh, I would be? A personal pronoun. Personal pronoun. Very good. Play? Bear. That is a bear. And in the part? Compliment. Compliment. You guys, you, you're good. Okay. Uh, what would the negative form be? You don't play in the part? Yes. Very good. I don't play in the part. Very good. I don't, don't play. play in the park. And interrogative sentence. Do I play in the park? Do I play in the park? Yes, you could, guys. Do you play or do I play in the park? Very good, very good. Can you notice the difference between the structures of verb to be and other verbs? Yes. Let, me yes. put it, let me put it this way. Pronoun auxiliary. Here, with other verbs, we are using the auxiliary. Yes. How many auxiliary do we have in simple present? Two. 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 Very good. Two. What are? Do what are those? Does. Do and does. And does. Yes. Okay. This auxiliary is going to work with third person. 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 Third person.
dance. And do? Do the rest. The yes. Rest. Okay, now it's very good. Perfect. Do the rest. So, well, uh, here you have, you know, the structures of the sentences. So we are going to, I already prepared a diagram for you. Let me show you. Should I help you? Oh, yes, I want to raise the hand, but thank you very much for helping me. Well, I have, um, I, I have already prepared a diagram for you about simple present and the two groups in simple present. Oh, wait for a while. That one is, this is the diagram for bird to be. I am going to give you the diagram. The diagram, the diagram to be. Define is 